So when we first built this house, Kyle wanted to do a wood burning furnace. And I said, absolutely not. <laughs> because we were not gonna spend every extra minute we had cutting wood in the winter. So our compromise was doing geothermal. During our initial build, we, we kind of worked with um, one of the Intertex employees to let them know that we were building um, a certain size house with future plans to take our unfinished basement into a full basement, even with a full kitchen, shower, all those things down there. So they ended up helping us decide on a four ton unit and it's been able to keep up with everything. When it came to solar, we, with us being all electric, she didn't want a gas stove and she wanted an electric stove. And so really the only other thing that we would have done that would have been gas is a water heater. And at that point we don't have natural gas out here. So it would have been propane. So we pretty much made the decision at that point that it was going to be an all electric home. And if we were going to do an all electric home, we wanted that all electric home to be as efficient as possible. The home I grew up in was an all electric home. So for me, it wasn't really any different than what I was used to. Um, we had the wood burning fireplace there too. And so um, very similar to how I grew up. And so it's nice to be able to have that, but also be more efficient with it. As far as comfort goes, I think it's really advantageous to have the geothermal unit in the basement. It's super quiet as opposed to the ones when there's a fan running outside nonstop. And I've lived in homes where the fan was right outside the master bedroom window and that's all you can hear all night, especially on a really hot summer night. So having it here, you barely hear it running. Um, it's so efficient that it keeps the entire house feeling the same temperature, whether there's 30 people in the upstairs or 30 people in the downstairs or no one. Do your house all electric, you won't regret it. Right now you can do geotherm and solar panels and there are so many federal tax credits for it that you don't realize how much money you're actually saving. And then whenever you're saving money on your power bill each month, that just kind of is in the wash because you've already saved all of it from putting it in and it not being as expensive as some of the other units that you can get, um, as well as those tax credits really help out. As far as bills and stuff, we've, we're fortunate. We have a really good community out here in this rural subdivision. Um, we've compared bills and stuff like that. And one of them that's on forced air with a heat pump also has propane and they yeah, use they it. use more in propane for a month if it's really cold and they're really burning through their through their propane they'll spend more on that full tank of propane than we will in three four months on on our power bill it's amazing